Hello everyone, in this video I'll tell you about how to develop an Android application for BeagleBone that can utilize UART for communication. So for this video I'll be using two BeagleBones uh, for communicating with each other. So in one of the BeagleBone I'm having Android system running and in other another uh, BeagleBone I'll ha have Debian running. So if you see here we can see that there are four UARTs available on BeagleBone Black. I'll be using UART 4 that is 11th and 13th pin of P9 header for this example. Here you can see that I have connected TX of uh, this BeagleBone with the RX of Adanda and uh, similarly TX of this with RX of this. So I have cross connected them. Let me show you the setup. So this is the setup that I have made. So you can see that I have two beagles. Uh, this beagle is running the Android system and this beagle is running Debian. Uh, I have connected third, uh, the TX of this beagle with RX of this and RX uh, TX of this with RX of this. So I have cross connected them. Okay, let me show you the code that I have developed for uh, this Android application. So, so this is the code. Here you can see that I have UART open, then UART write, read, and UART close function. In UART open, uh, we take, uh, we give, uh, the pass the argument of uh, device and the baud rate. So, uh, like for our device, we will be sending four here, and baud rate. Uh, actually, baud rates are already defined here, so we can only use these baud rates. If we want to use another baud rate that are not defined here, then uh, we have to change the uh, code little bit. So, okay. So you are open. Uh, returns a file descriptor that can be utilized by UART write and read and close. UART write takes uh, the file descriptor and uh, uh, and writes the length number of bytes uh, to the UART port. So uh, it actually uh, takes the bytes from uh, here and uh, writes through the UART. Uh, similarly, uh, UART read uh, reads the length number of bytes from the UART. UART close closes the file descriptor uh, for uh, UART. So this is the native code. Let me show you the Android code. So this is the Android application code. So these are the prototype of the function uh, native functions function calls. First of all, uh, I have I have uh, created the uh, file descriptor. So you uh, are open will return a file descriptor. Uh, this is displayed in the connection stream string. Then uh, I have open uh, on click send on click send. So uh, let me show you the interface. So this is the interface. Uh, we have connection string. Then we have our uh, text that uh, we want to send. When we press the send button, then we have receive button that will receive the data and show into the text view. So on click send, uh, we have this. Uh, uh, so on click send, uh, uh, the ET will receive the text, uh, edit text one data, and this will be sent via UART. On click receive, uh, the data will be received from UART and will be displayed on uh, text view one. And on destroy, uh, UART will be closed. Uh, file descriptor will be closed. So let's first compile the native code. If so, it is already compiled. So let's uh, okay. Now we have to install the overlay first of all. So first install this.
so okay so overlay is not installed yet so you can see that now overlay is installed let me show you the view. so you can see that currently TTY4 do not have permissions for uh, all the users it can only be executed by the root user so we have to provide the proper permissions so let's do that so now it has proper permission so it can be accessed from the android application so we have to do the similar thing to uh, other beagle so we have to install the overlay so let's do that so you can see that overlay is installed now so there is a pre-installed tool here uh, mini term that we will be using for communication here now let's run the android application so i am running this application so So here you can see that I have oh one second so here you can see that uh, we have the interface here so I'll be sending the data Q W E R T Y QWERTY I'm sending this data first uh, uh, let's first use So now I'm sending this data from one big uh, the this wiggle. So you can see that it has appeared here. So and now I'm sending data from here. Let's send beagle. So I've sent beagle. And let's see if it has appeared. So you can see that Beagle is appeared here. So this was the example for UART. Thanks.